You also lay out the example of an organization called General Instrument in your book. Tell us about their situation and what their experience was with private equity. Sure. I, I looked at the, uh, to, to try to be objective and not be cherry picking, I took the 10 biggest buyouts of the 1990s. So the 80s, we had the crash. We didn't know it at the time, but when the book came out in the 2000s, we had the crash. But I didn't choose that because it would have been too new. So I took the 10 biggest buyouts of the 90s to see how those companies fared against their peers. So in six cases, they fared worse. Three cases, it was mixed. In one case, General Instrument, I think the private equity firm helped the business. And the, in this case was Forsman Little, um, uh, founded by now deceased Teddy Forsman. Uh, they went in, bought the company, uh, cut costs, but there were a lot of different divisions within the company. General Instrument made set-top boxes for TVs. Today, that would seem like kind of a you know, buggy whip kind of industry. But at the time, people still needed set-top boxes for their cable television. And they were, the, they were one of the two leaders. Um, and they found, trying to find a way to make this work, to try to generate EBITDA, generate earnings, they did find this nugget within General Instrument um, that became Satellite TV. Um, so to their credit, they found the nugget, the, the technology that was there, they developed it, and they made the company much more successful. So, uh, so I think that was the one case I found in the 10, whereby uh, coming in with a fresh approach, trying very aggressively to make money, they found a piece of R&D, research and development that made a lot of sense, that they'd already patented, um, that wasn't generating much at the time, and took it out and did, very, and did extremely well with it.